Technologies should not be divided into military and civilian. We just need to find their rightful applications. Have announced their development of the most powerful quantum computer in the world. It works 100 trillion times faster than the fastest supercomputers out there. An audacious move that has sent shockwaves through the global tech community. China has once again defied us and posed sanctions with a groundbreaking innovation in quantum computing. This latest development not only highlights China's unwavering determination to overcome Western-imposed technological barriers, but also exposes the growing impotence of U.S. policies aimed at stifling Chinese progress. The U.S., in its desperate bid to maintain technological dominance, has resorted to tactics that many see as nothing short of economic bullying. Yet, despite the relentless pressure and stringent sanctions, China's scientists have risen to the challenge demonstrating a resilience that has left Washington scrambling for a response. Stay with us till the end as we unravel the implications of this high-stakes technological tug of war. Hello and welcome back to Innovative Check YouTube channel, where we delve into the innovative and transformative projects changing our world. If you are new to the channel and enjoy learning about innovation stories around the world, you've come to the right place. Please subscribe, like, and comment to help boost our videos on YouTube. Chinese quantum computing company Origin Quantum has announced a breakthrough in the creation of the high-density microwave interconnect module, the crucial component for quantum computers. This reveal comes just days after the U.S. imposed another round of sanctions, preventing U.S. companies from selling technology and materials to certain Chinese companies. Pan Jianwei is the father of quantum computer in China. These modules manage the large number of connections required to control and read out data from qubits. Traditionally, these connections are made with coaxial cables. With the latest breakthrough, high-density microwave interconnect modules can now be produced domestically. According to the South China Morning Post, Kong Weekenji, a researcher at Origin Quantum, told mainstream media outlets that quantum chips operate at temperatures close to absolute 0, 0,452 Fahrenheit or 169 degrees Celsius. This requires modules to be able to insulate heat. An additional requirement is a high-speed, stable channel for accurate transmission of signals and quantum information between the quantum computer's brain and external devices. Until now, coaxial cables suitable for the cause had to be imported from Japan. The newly developed module can provide microwave signal transmission channels for quantum chips with more than 100 bits, achieving stable signal transmission across extreme cooling zones. Just a quick reminder to hit the like button below. YouTube has been restricting my videos a lot recently because of bots, so your like does help out this video massively in terms of the algorithm in YouTube. The development of the high-density microwave interconnect module marks a significant step towards reducing China's dependence on other countries and achieving self-reliance in quantum technology. This goal becomes even more relevant as the tech war with the West intensifies. The U.S. Department of Commerce released an updated export control list on May 9, which included 22 of China's leading players in quantum research and industrialization. This move saw physicists in China call it unprecedented. The list, officially called the Entity List, blacklists almost all of the country's core strengths in quantum information research. According to the South China Morning Post, this blacklisting could lead to the U.S. becoming strict in granting visa approvals to Chinese students in STEM-related fields. Furthermore, Chinese researchers could face greater scrutiny when trying to get their findings published in academic journals such as Nature. Origin Quantum, the backbone of China's quantum computing research and its industrial applications, also appeared on the sanctions list, founded in 2017 by quantum physicists Guo Guping and Guo Guangken, at the University of Science and Technology of China, the company collaborated with the 40th Research Institute of China Electronics Technology Group to create the module. Earlier this year, Origin Quantum's independently developed quantum computer, the Origin Wukong, opened up to global users, featuring a powerful anti-quantum attack shield. This move came as a surprise considering U.S. quantum computers are not accessible to Chinese users. Named after the monkey king of Chinese mythology, the Origin Wukong, China's most advanced quantum computer, now features new encryption methods designed to replace conventional public key cryptography systems, such as ERS, according to reports by the state-run China news agency. Origin Wukong has completed over 183,000 quantum computing tasks.
you are enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to subscribe, share the video and comment. This significant achievement by Origin Quantum showcases China's rapid advancements in quantum technology. Despite ongoing U.S. sanctions, the development of the high-density microwave interconnect module, capable of facilitating stable signal transmission at extremely low temperatures, represents a critical leap towards achieving self-sufficiency in quantum computing components. This technological stride is not merely a scientific milestone, but also a strategic maneuver in the broader geopolitical landscape where technological dominance plays a pivotal role. The recent sanctions by the U.S. aim to curb China's progress in critical technology sectors, particularly quantum computing, which is seen as a frontier technology with profound implications for national security, economic power, and technological leadership. By restricting access to essential technology and materials, the U.S. hopes to stymie China's rapid advancements. However, China's swift response with domestic innovations like the high-density microwave interconnect module illustrates the resilience and ingenuity of its scientific community. This resilience is embodied by individuals like Pan Jianwei, often hailed as the father of quantum computing in China, whose contributions have been instrumental in propelling China to the forefront of quantum research. Kong Weichen's remarks about the operational conditions of quantum chips underscore the complexity and sophistication involved in developing quantum computing technology, operating at temperatures close to absolute zero. Quantum computers require components that can maintain stability and performance in such extreme conditions. The ability to produce these components domestically mitigates the risk posed by international supply chain disruptions and sanctions, thereby enhancing China's technological sovereignty. The geopolitical ramifications of these technological advancements are profound as the U.S. intensifies its efforts to limit China's access to critical technologies. China's progress in developing indigenous alternatives signifies a potential shift in the global technological balance. The inclusion of key Chinese quantum research entities in the U.S. entity list not only hampers their ability to collaborate internationally, but also serves as a catalyst for China to accelerate its efforts towards technological self-reliance. The potential impact on academic collaboration and visa restrictions for Chinese STEM students further compounds, the challenges faced by Chinese researchers. However, these obstacles also drive the urgency and determination within China's scientific community to overcome external dependencies. Origin Quantum's partnership with the 40th Research Institute of China Electronics Technology Group exemplifies the collaborative efforts within China to achieve breakthroughs in quantum technology. This synergy between academia and industry is crucial for translating theoretical research into practical applications. The unveiling of the Origin Wukong quantum computer to a global audience reflects China's confidence in its technological capabilities and its ambition to lead in the quantum computing arena. The inclusion of an anti-quantum attack shield in the Origin Wukong highlights the strategic importance of quantum technology and cybersecurity, as quantum computers have the potential to break traditional encryption methods, developing quantum-resistant encryption technologies is paramount for safeguarding national security. The performance of the Origin Wukong, with over 183,000 quantum computing tasks completed, demonstrates its robustness and capability. This achievement not only reinforces China's position in the quantum computing race, but also sets the stage for future innovations. The application of quantum computing spans various domains, including cryptography, materials science, artificial intelligence, and complex system simulations. As China continues to enhance its quantum computing infrastructure, the potential for groundbreaking discoveries and applications expands. In response to the U.S. sanctions, China's strategic focus on technological self-reliance is becoming increasingly evident. The high-density microwave interconnect module is a testament to this focus, showcasing China's ability to innovate and adapt under pressure. As the global competition for technological supremacy intensifies, the interplay between innovation, policy, and international relations will shape the future trajectory of quantum computing and other emerging technologies. China's advancements in quantum computing, despite facing significant external challenges, reflect a broader narrative of resilience and strategic foresight. The journey towards achieving technological self-sufficiency is fraught with obstacles, but each breakthrough, such as the development of the high-density microwave interconnect module, 
marks a step closer to that goal. Thank you for your attention, and I welcome your thoughts and questions on this complex and vital subject. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing and growing its influence. Your subscriptions and likes motivate us to generate more content, so please keep supporting us. Check out this video showing on your screen right now, and I will see you on the other side.